you will learn about agentic rag agentic rag is a combination of agent plus your traditional rag and it addresses the limitations of rag by introducing intelligent ai agents that can autonomously analyze your data make decisions and perform multi step reasoning this approach allows for managing complex tasks across diverse and extensive data sets so not only you can use your rag pipeline but also the agent to get information from external tools and we will see how this agenting rag can be built using llama index by the end of this video you will be very comfortable to create this agenting rag now let's import some of the libraries that we will need from llama index from llama underscore index dot core import first I am going to import simple directory reader to load my data frame simple directory reader and then vector store index to create vectors and also settings to apply the global settings now I'm going to import grok because I will be using this API from grok to use LLM from llama index dot core dot grok import grok and then so it says module not found because it is from llama index dot LLMs not core so I'll change it now it should work and after that I am going to import get pass to hide my API keys from get pass import get pass now I am going to make a variable grok API key where I am going to store the API keys I will write here grok underscore API underscore key and then I will call this get pass here and then I will put the API key so I have stored in this variable grok API key now I am going to use it I will use this settings to uh, create a LLM so that I do not need to assign it and I can use it anywhere in the uh, notebook I will call this settings and then I will call LLM and then I will call this grok that I imported inside this I have to pass my first parameter which is the model name and the model name is llama3-70 billion parameters and then 8192 this is the llama 3.1 LLM that I am using and then the API key I need to pass so API key is equal to this grok API key this one where I have stored the API key of this grok cloud and now I am going to load this text file which I will use as a knowledge base to create a rack pipeline so let me make one variable documents documents is equal to I will call this simple directory reader and inside this my parameter is going to be input files not dir but input files and then inside a list I am going to pass the file name and the file name is paul underscore sa dot text so this is an essay written by paul that I am going to use as a knowledge base to create a rack pipeline then I will call load underscore data to load the actual data from this policy or text into the variable documents and once I create documents maybe I can just print here print documents so this is the document that you can see it is nothing but in but an essay from this 
author Paul where he's describing about his childhood company and everything what happened in his life so this is a essay from him that we are going to use as a knowledge base to create our rank pipeline let's create index of our documents using local hugging face embedding model I will create an object index and then I will call vector store index vector store index dot from underscore documents and then I will pass over documents here and embedding underscore embed underscore model is equal to local this will use local hugging face embedding model and then let us execute our code this will create embeddings for our documents that we need so once the embeddings are created we will create our query engine I will write here query underscore engine and then I will call this index then as query engine the second option and then so it says error okay LLM so I have to pass LLM here I will write here LLM is equal to LLM and this should work now now I can start asking questions so I will ask first one question based on this document that we have and I will save the response in the variable response then I will call this query engine and from this I will call the method query and then I will ask a question my question is who is the author of the essay and then let us print this response so it says that the author of this essay is Paul Graham that is absolutely correct we know that when we loaded this file the essay file name itself was Paul underscore essay dot text file so the output is correct so this is a simple rack where what we are doing we are just you know asking the question uh, to the uh, knowledge base that we have loaded that is the text file that we have loaded but now we are going to add the part of agent here and let's see what will happen when we create an agent and then we will interact this agent with this rack so that will become agentic rack and for that let's import first from llama index llama underscore index dot core dot tools import query engine tool so you will need this query engine tool and now I'm going to make one tool so as you know that agents they need function tools so they use those tools to get the answers to make decisions on their own and this can be an external tool or a user defined function so we will be using one user defined function to use our agent so that our agent can use that as a tool and I will name that as essay underscore tool because the document is about essay so I'm just giving a random name as a tool you can give any name and then I will call this query engine that I have just imported here so query engine tool and then from defaults now what I am going to do so inside this I'll go and first I will pass our query engine so query engine tool will take a lot of function that can be passed inside it so the first thing that I want to 
put here is the query engine that we use to ask question the second one is name so what name you want to give to this tool so i'm going to name this tool as let's say paul underscore essay because this uh, this rag is about the policy so that's why i'm giving this name as policy but you can give any name then a short description so description is equal to and then you can give any description of your choice and let let me write this uh, rag engine with some basic information about the essay and you can give any other description as well and then we'll close this so this is closed here and now let me execute this code to see everything is working well okay so now we are going to create agent and for that first i'm going to import react agent i will write here from llama index dot core dot agent import react agent and then the function tool from llama index dot core dot tools import function tool so whatever function you uh, create or whatever external tools or the api that use you have this function tool to integrate so i will execute this code and now i am going to define one user defined function and that function will be let's say add function i will write here define add this will take two parameter a and b and let me define this a is going to be float then b this is also going to be a float and this will output so this will output float as a number and then i will add a doc string add two numbers and returns the sum so this is a doc string and it should have three quotes not a single quote here and then you can just return the parameter a and b return a plus b now you have to pass this to the function tool and create a tool of this function add so i will name this as add underscore tool and you have to pass it using function tool from function tool dot from defaults and then function is equal to add so this will create a add tool for us and this add tool will be used by the agent so let us execute the code and now we are at the final step where we will just create an agent and then we will ask this agent some question and we will see the difference between a rag and an agent so i'll make an object agent and then i will call react agent from this i will call from tools and uh, inside this i am going to pass our tool so as a list the first tool that i am going to pass is add tool this number this add function that will add two numbers a a and b and the second one is the sa tool which is nothing but a query engine tool which is our rag and then i will close this and then verbose is equal to true so that we can see what is happening behind the scene and then i will close this so our agent is ready and it says llm is disabled and so i will pass here llm is equal to llm now our agent is ready and now we can start asking question so the first question that i'm going to ask is from the document itself the information we will get from the document due to time constraint i have run this function behind the scene and when i ask the question how much author got in seed funding 
so here is the output i got it says i can answer without using any more tools i will use the user's language to answer the author got $12000 in seed funding so this is the answer from rack that the document that we have loaded now i want to use this function tool or the agent so i have asked the other question the other question that i have asked what would be the new investment amount of y combinator if i add dollar 1000 more so this is the answer uh, or this is the you know previous answer and here you will see action input y combinator would invest dollar 11000 and here the answer is the author got 12000 in seed funding uh, because here you will see observation so after giving this uh, input y combinator would invest $11,000 it says observation no according to the context y combinator would invest $12,000 in the typical two founder case in return for 6% so this is from the rack now I am what I am asking this agent to add $1,000 more and this cannot be done using rag because we only get answers from our rag it doesn't do any calculation for that it would need an agent so when i asked this agent to add 1000 more to this 12000 here you see it is using the function add so here it is using action add then it is taking two input a and b in a this is the dollar 12000 and in B, the dollar one thousand that I'm asking to add, and here the output is the new investment amount of Y combinator would be dollar thirteen thousand. So you see, it has done the addition of these two numbers, and this is what the agent does. It can use some function tools, or it can even use some external APIs and based on that it can give you an output so it is even more powerful than a simple rack and it takes a decision on its own एक घंटा तेरह मिनट